please. Is there anything I can do, sir? Please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spin me on my face right now! She's spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Boston, Massachusetts, where we find wannabe investigative journalists who meet the real press. That's right, the real people from the real TV stations. Let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! That's the crime scene. This is a, we're going to work down there. Okay, then go around on that side. Oh, that side? Across the road. Don't touch me. Cross the road, please. Yeah, other side of the street. Cross the road, please. Don't touch me. You're in an active crime scene. I need you to exit the crime it's scene, not, please. It's not even. It is. I need you to back off the crime scene. I need you to cross the where, road. Where? Where? Okay. So you're touching me? You yes, I am. Seriously. I'm removing you from a crime scene. Why isn't it taped? Why would you just leave it open? The guy down there told us we could come. Well, unfortunately, he was not briefed on the situation. All right, which way do you need to go, left or right? Get Choose your now. hands off me. Choose now, left or right. Pick a direction and start I, walking in it. Left I'm or I'm going right. that way. All right, let's go. Why is it? Why is the media right there? I'm going to the media. I'm going to where the media is. Guys, get her off of me now. Go. Pull her off of me now. Oh, yes, indeed. The lad wants to go with the media because he fancies himself as a journalist, not I don't know, Sonny Boy, there's a lot of police officers there. Woo, I think you better move. There's about a dozen cops there. Yeah, you're not going to win this one, Sonny Boy. And I like that lady. She just pick a direction, left or right, and start moving. That's great stuff, isn't it? Go. Pull her off. Go. Keep walking. Dude, pull her off of me! Nobody, Nobody cares. Just stay on the other side of the line, alright? Can you give me your name and badge number? Can of Thank you. They're just they're pushing everybody to where the media is over here. But if you'll just come on. If you'll right stop pushing the other side me your body cam. Can you can, right over so here you're battering me? I don't need you. You, can, you could have said those then words. Why? Stop touching me. Okay. Stop touching me. It's a big overreaction, I know. You are not Why are you touching me? Why don't you mark the area off? They are. No, you're not. Where's the area? Mark the crime scene off. Mark the area off. Mark the area off. I need her body cam. Can you can, can you just get her name? Can I go over here and you guys get her name? Can you be reasonable? If you guys had taped it off, we wouldn't have come in. Frauditors really don't like to be touched, do they? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'll defend myself. Don't touch me. To the little sissy boys. <laughs> Man, these guys make me laugh. I tell you, it's like a comedy hour for me. And then what the frauditors always demand? Crime scene tape. And then once you put the crime scene tape up, they're still going to complain. There's no pleasing an anarchist frauditor, no doubt about it. Let's continue. They're trying to get tape, all right? We got a crime scene going on here. I, don't know, I respect that. If you got I something, I don't. It. So I just asked you to show the same But it sounds like the bullshit. Boston police department. Well, it's not, sir. Just join the rest of the press here and you record all you want, right? With these cameras. Media, please. All right, that's the rest of the media. Okay, we'll get all right, just stay with the media. I don't care. I want to report this guy for putting yeah. his hands on okay. Yeah, good job. And they do. No, Stop can touching can me. Supervisor? I'm at, I'm, like I'm at the same spot. here with the media, okay? Hey, what are you going to do when people start defending themselves against you? Go ahead. What are you going to start doing then? He's already committed a battery. Assault and battery. That's all you had to freaking do. That's your requirement. You have to mark it off. That's your requirement. You have to mark it off. No, he didn't have to put his hands on me, though. No, he put his hands on me, though. Why did he put his hands on me? He didn't have to put his hands on me. It's not over. Oh, it's not over. This is the idiot behind the camera. He claims to be an attorney, but there's a catch. 
he's a wacky tobacco attorney. Yeah, I don't know exactly what that entails, but I'm not even sure he's a real attorney because listen to what he says later. Thank you. I'm talking to him. Sir. No, it's over. It's over. Well, explain it to me. Explain to me. It's been explained. So I, I would like to file a crime report. How do I file a crime report for that officer putting his hands on me? That's a battery. Oh, so I can be up to here? So. I'd like to place him under citizen's arrest. Hey, Chance, we're going to go right to the corner here, okay? To what? We're going to go right to the corner Who's in charge here? So you would like to, you'd like for me to move over there? To the corner, please. There, see, that, see, see right there what you just did right there? That's a beautiful thing. Words matter, right? Just say something and it, and it matters. So we're just going kind to of keep the media pooled together, that's all. Yeah, I, I understand, but you're, you're restricting a further area than is necessary to, to maintain your crime scene. This is precisely what I said a few moments ago. They cried about crime scene tape. The cops put the crime scene tape up, and they're still not happy about it. That's what I said. You cannot win with these anarchists. And they are truly anarchists. They hate the law. They hate the government. They have nothing good to say about police officers. They're anarchists all the way through and through. So we're going to have you back up on this side, that camera as well. Now you're going to back their cameras up too? Wait, wait yeah, everybody's going on. Look, back up. You know what? I'm past the line he told me to back up to. You've been, you've been, you've been not doing your job for decades. You take the narrative they give you, you never investigate shit. You go exactly where they tell you to go, you record exactly what they tell you to record, yeah. and you never record anything they tell you that. not to. Yeah. You've been failing for decades. Oh, please. That's why we're here. Yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to I'm in your Thank you. I'm not trying to bump into it, Evans. Sir, why are you so frustrated? I'm frustrated because you got us kicked out of here. I'm frustrated. I got us because I'm frustrated. Why aren't you? Why wouldn't you be? Why wouldn't you be? Why wouldn't you be frustrated? Because you have a misunderstanding, of the, why you be, why you be frustrated? Because you have a misunderstanding of the situation. Really? Do I? You were asked to How leave. How so? You, you were asked to leave. Are you, you media? Not leave. Are you media? You were asked to leave. You did not leave. Are you media? No, damn right I am. Are you? Yes, indeed, Sonny Boy. This is the real media. This is the real press. This man's from WBZ TV in Boston. Oh, I know it is difficult for a frauder to to accept. Because frauditors are press. They have press passes. Well, they would if somebody issued them. Right. They're just members of the free press, right? Yeah, right. Whatever, man. Let's carry on. Because you do here. what your government what tells you. What are you going to get over there? Got a lot better stuff than you did. What's the I, got the cops, I got the cops acting like jackasses. What are you going to get from over here? And no. we got the fact that you continue. For you're going to get, you're gonna get some, you're gonna get some lights flashing. You're going to get some lights flashing. You, you look like an idiot. You're accusing him of battery. He asked you Accusing him of battery. He put his hands on me, sir. He had to because you did not No, comply. sir. He doesn't have to. You, he had to because no, you sir. did not comply. No, sir. He has to get police tape he just like they did. You did not comply. Just like they had to get police tape. He had to because you did not comply. No, I don't have to comply. You did not comply. I don't have to comply. To because, yes, you do. No, I don't. It's a state law. Really? Which the Constitution trumps state law. So, see, I know what my rights are. That's why I went over there and challenged it. Because I know what my constitutional rights are. It's what I went to law school for. Now, did you just hear what the Yahoo said? He said, that's why I went to law school. Now, if you were a bona fide attorney, wouldn't you say something to the effect of, I am an attorney and I know my constitutional rights? Let's roll that clip one more time so you can hear it in case you missed it. Because I know what my constitutional rights are. He it's what I went to law school for. It move. doesn't matter. Move. Yes, Will you move, to. please? Yes, Will yes, you move, please? To. Move, please. You move. I'm asking you to move. He had no That's authority exactly to right. ask us no. to move. You have to mark off the area. See, a cop has to know that they have to mark off the area that they want to restrict somebody from with crime scene tape. There's clear case law on that from the United States Supreme Court and the we First asked, Circuit. We have been asked verbally to move back. Right. Doesn't oh. matter. You can ask me yes. all you want to. You have hey. to restrict the area from me by physically demarcating it. That is what the Constitution requires. <laughs> and there's got to be a the reason, First though. Circuit Court of Appeals requires. There's got to be a reason, though. I'm sorry. You want to repeat that? Yeah. What do you got? I already said it once. Did you, oh, did you, you not understand you it the repeat? first time? You won't repeat. Yes. The Constitution requires that if they want to have privacy, they have to demarcate it with criminal crime scene tape, like they finally did. What they didn't have to do was batter somebody. All they had to do was put up tape 
like they did and said, we're going to put up tape in this area and move back. Predators and anarchists, which are one and the same, love to make a mountain out of a molehill. If you had moved when the officers asked you to, they wouldn't have touched you. You didn't move, so they touched you. Now you want to stand there and debate it with this man. He doesn't care about it. He doesn't care anything about you. He has a real job, and he's trying to do it, but you're in the way. Unlike yourself, who's a reporter working for whatever media WBZ. you're working for, I understand the law a little bit better than you because I went to law school. Now there he goes again. I went to law school. If you were a bona fide attorney, why not just say, look, I'm an attorney. I'm a bona fide attorney. No, you want to talk about I went to law school. Roll that clip again. I understand the law a little bit better than you because I went not, to law school. I fully understand the law. No, sir. We were I, asked I, to move where, back. where did you go to law school? We, we, I understand that, but I'm not a sheep. I, I don't just follow what the government. <laughs> Respectfully, sir, I asked I you to move back. For you. Are ask, you, are you, no, this is the second question. You already asked me a question. You have to okay, I'm going to ask you a second and a third. Go. go ahead. Are you going to continue to harass me on this public street? I'm not harassing you. came to us. I'm going to ask you again. Are I'm you going to continue? You, sir. you can I ask feel the harassed. same stupid question. I feel, I feel harassed. harassed. I feel harassed. Really? I feel harassed. Then take I feel harassed. I if you take feel steps. harassed by me, you take 10 steps back. We were here. We were here. If you feel harassed by me, take 10 steps back. Your nose hairs look too good on camera. If you feel harassed by me, Your nose hairs look too good on camera. See, I'm not if worried about my him, job. If, if, neither am you I. Should, you should be. No. You should be. <laughs> nice. You feel harassed from, by me. Oh, I do. Take 10 steps back. No, thank you. I, I, I like so it right here. Then obviously you don't. You already hit me with your uh, tripod there. That was a battery too. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? The cop was pulling your tripod with the crime scene tape. That's why I don't like these so-called First Amendment dewees, because they don't care about the First Amendment. They're only out there to cause controversy for clicks and views. If they would just stand there and mind their own business, who would want to watch the video? Certainly not me. So they have to go out there and cause negativity. They have to get negative reactions from people. That's what they do best. I don't know. I'm going to ask okay. you one more time. Are you going to continue to harass me? I'm not harassing you, sir. I'm okay. filming in a public I'm, area I'm going to ask on a public you. sidewalk. You can I'm ask me to, whatever you'd like. I'm okay, going to continue I'm going to engage to you, in constitutionally going to protected I'm going activity. I'm ask you to take two steps back if you can. I, you, no, I'm not, you can move your camera wherever you'd like so to. So you're not going to take two steps no, back? No, I'm going to stand right here. Okay, very good. Some great footage you're getting there. Man, those those cop cars look awesome. Make sure you get it in and frame correctly. Frame that out correctly. I'm sorry, what was that again? I, I, I said I said agree. frame it out correctly. What is your name, sir? I didn't give you my name. I, uh, I just asked you for it. Yeah, I understand that. I didn't give it to I, you. I, I'm sorry, I just asked you for your name, sir. Harry Balls. Ah. I would expect that type of response from a 12-year-old kid. Yeah, and who doesn't know what hairy balls really are, but he, all his friends say it, so he's going to say it as well. I wouldn't expect that from a man who attended law school. You attended law school. Ooh, do we have proof that he's really an attorney? We should check in with the Oklahoma Bar Association. Now, this yay who claims to be running for mayor somewhere, I think it's Oklahoma City, if I'm not mistaken, Let's take a look at a couple videos. One is a short video, about one minute long, where he gets arrested. And in the other video, he's cuffed and detained for refusing to show identification. Note the matching t-shirt and sneakers. I guess that's a fashion statement of some kind, eh? Let's roll that clip. What this all was is a ploy to arrest me in front of Judge Pretty, who I've embarrassed and I currently have in front of the Oklahoma Supreme Court. And this is all a ploy by Mayor GT, which equals weak T Bynum, to try to shut me up, along with other members of the city council. Before the scuffle, Durbin also took aim at the Oklahoma Bar Association and other local leaders. We're not going to hold anything back anymore. Then he made his own announcement. I'm here today to now officially announce that I am throwing my hat into the ring for mayor of the city of Tulsa. I will be fired. I'll be fired. After that, things right, took a turn. Mr. Durbin can go. Yes, sir. Everybody else will stay out. 
Can't go in. Go ahead, I'll, go I'll ahead Mr. Here. Durbin. I'll stay out here then. All right, that was the short video. Let's take a look at the longer video where he's cuffed and detained for refusing ID. Roll that clip. Let's go. Get your, get your, get your hand off of me. Get your hand off of me. Make your choices. Make your choices. Well, they, they won't let you in the public building to do that, so. Why did you touch me? Follow me to my car, you're gonna sit in the back seat of my car and I'm gonna make sure you don't get any more. So you're as a threat of arrest? I don't have the you're, so you're telling me if I follow you I'm gonna be arrested? You don't have the right to check me for warrants. Do you have reasonable articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime? You do understand I'm an attorney, right? You understand that? Bar number two sir, you might want to check yourself. I know this a little bit better than you do. Have a good day. You gonna walk away or what are we gonna do? I'm gonna stand right here. Okay. So this Yahoo claims to be an attorney. As a matter of fact, he claims to be a civil rights attorney. He must not be a very good attorney because why would he be out here with a camera frauditing? I don't get that at all, but hey, I don't understand the mind of a frauditor. Let's carry on. Okay. Any idea on you? I do. Uh, you're next as well. Why am I arrested? You're not arrested. I'm going to make see who you are since you're uh, being right disruptive. Pocket. Right pocket. Where's your ID at? Right uh, I'm going to take that out and get your ID out. Hold me. But it was all live streaming, so it was, that's awesome. Thanks for that one. Now the frauditor, a.k.a. civil rights attorney, with the matching shirt and shoes, decided not to ID, so he was cuffed and detained until the cop did ID him. Ah, uh, I see a federal lawsuit in the making. What do you good people think? Yep. Oh well. Woo! What a day! Oh my God! I mean, it's like it's like constitutional rights galore. Hey, hey guys, officers, I, I did not get his name and badge number. I need to file a complaint. How do I? So what do I, how do, I do that? Well, so I just yes, absolutely. I just need his name and badge number so I can go to the police department and do that. He didn't just direct me where to do that. I was maintaining distance. He could not articulate a crime for which he was suspected. He wanted to run me for warrants. Is the reason he detained me. That is an unconstitutional detention, and I want him arrested for unlawful detention and battery. So I'd like to file a report. I know the supervisor's coming. That's perfect. He, he, I mean, he, he way screwed up. No, <laughs> Man, he's got an attitude problem. He's got an anger problem. An yeah, like. So what's this civil right attorney's deal, any? What's his, what? I don't get it. If you're a civil rights attorney, why are you out here in the street? He must be one of those mail order attorneys, one of those online classes. Hey, where'd you go to school at? Yeah, what's the name of your school, boy? When I said good morning to you and your name, you just said smiled and said good morning. He literally is all I did. He walked up, I said good morning, Higgin bought them, and he goes. I'm patrol. I'm good. I'm a patrol guy. When we were going to the building, he said you can't go into the room where they're having the meeting. So I'm walking into the building, and he grabs me, like pushes me, and we're like, hey, whoa, whoa, it's okay. But we have a cordial conversation, no problems. Higginbotham comes out of there like a daggum tyrant for us. And this is how this is as excited as I've gotten today. I can yeah. get excited, but I've I've not even been excited. And yeah, he wants to check me for warrants. And then he's like, "Oh, you sure Tulsa doesn't want you?" Like that man was trying to find some reason to take me down to the to the jail. Uh, and I do, I told him I was just there on Friday for disturbing the peace at Tulsa County Courthouse. Uh, so I knew I didn't have any warrants. I was just in the courthouse yesterday passing out stopsharinghomes.com stuff for the drunk driving judge we've got in Tulsa County. I'm a lawyer. I do this. I, I, I kind of know a little bit what I'm doing. So I'd like to citizens arrest him. Well, now let's see if I have this right, Mr. Civil Rights Attorney. You want to what? You want to do what? You want to citizens arrest a police officer? Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, that officer. Okay, well, I'm going to citizens arrest him.
for unlawful detention, battery, assault, um, uh, intentional infliction of emotional distress, what I'm going to sue him for on top of my civil rights violations, 42 U.S.C. 1983. But, you know, we'll, we'll wait. That's what I do for a living. I do civil rights for a living. You've had your opportunity to talk. Will you give me a minute to talk? Yes, sir, absolutely. I will. So I'll tell you the reason that we, call, we got called out here uh, was somebody somebody from, I believe, your organization where yep. she's born in a and as yes, we, yes, she, yes, she yes, wanted yes, to yes, we're, we're. file a report. Yeah, she wanted to and that officer wouldn't give us a report. So the Open Meetings Act uh, is a, the violation of the Open Meetings Act, which denied the public access to a public meeting, which is what that, that is. It, you can't restrict it on the basis of you've got 44. Otherwise, the government would just put in a room of 10 people and you'd never have open access to government meetings, right? This guy sounds like a YouTube law expert to me. I don't know. I think Goat Boy might know more than him. I know that's pushing it, but I'm just saying. There's rules that very clearly state that if you can't have the public accessible to that, then what you do is you you can stream it live. We had all these COVID things that changed where we can just live stream it as long as you can hear everybody, the public's aware. There aren't even public comments, so they don't even have to entertain people to say something. Right? All they have to do is let everybody see it. Would you get? Yeah. No, he won't give us a he wouldn't give us a report number. And and. And, and that was the problem, where it's explain, hey, we just want a report number because it's a violation. And as I explained to him, as a citizen, we have the right to a citizen's arrest. I explained them the statute under Title 22, and I said, I'd like to exercise the right for y'all to cite them for this violation so we can get some kind of case started. He, gets it, he just gets absolutely irate, and I say, officer, if you're not going to do anything, that's dereliction of duty. The student's been rock solid and chill since he rolled up. And I'd like to file a complaint against you, and I'd like to file charges against you for dereliction of duty. And that's when he got really pissed off. And they love to work with us, like the one that... Well, there you have it, good folks. The video continues for a few more minutes, and he wants to make a citizen's arrest on this police officer, but it doesn't happen on this video. I don't know if it happens at all, because the video ends strangely. Yeah, he wanted to go to a public meeting, and it was overflowed. There was no room for him to sit, and he wanted to watch it on Zoom. It doesn't work like that, sonny boy. Well, at any rate, if you enjoy watching civil rights attorneys like this who do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, Sonny Boy. You should think about a different line of work. Or go back to school and get a real law degree. Cheers to that. Since those videos were so short, I'm going to put a bonus feature in here with little Davey getting kicked out of the office by an attorney. A bona fide attorney. Roll that clip. I don't have an appointment. Sorry. Um, can I give a business card for this office, please? Um, which, what this should be I just want the, I just want the public information for this office. Thank you. Hi, my name's Flora White. I'm director of communications at the BOL. How can I help nice you? Nice to meet you. Are you filming me without- I'm recording, I don't need your permission. You work for the public. Okay, and how may right. I help you, sir? I just wanted the business card for this office. The business card? Yeah, that's it. That's all I asked for. for you. What's yeah. your name? Guy. Guy what? Freeman. Guy Freeman, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Okay, I'll go get my uh, business card, and I'll be right back. Okay? Thank you so much. Just, if you could stay here, I'm just going to be, be in the public areas. Guy Freeman. Yeah, we should all write to these places and tell them to be on the lookout for Guy Freeman, because that's not a real person. Matter of fact, I did write to the one library, and they revoked his card. They thanked me very much. I said, yeah, that guy's not homeless, he's not illiterate, and his name certainly isn't Guy Freeman. I sent his arrest report so they could verify that. How you like me now, baby boy? So what do they do on this? What do they do on this specific floor? Hi, so what do you guys do on this floor? This um, we are the uh, tax and legislative arm of so the county make executive's up. office. You guys help to make People laws? Separate. Yes, we pass legislation on matters pertaining to Westchester County. Does that include ordinances or just laws? Um, you know, it, that if you have specific questions, I'd be happy to set a time to talk with you in more oh, detail. I thought the public could come and just ask well, questions. I do work, so I'm actually stepping out of a meeting right now so that I can accommodate because we understood you were on the floor. Yeah. But we all are working really hard and we all have tight schedules. I mean, I'm your so, job as well, right? So what we can do is if you have questions right. that you'd like to submit, 
I'm happy to answer those. No, I just, that was my last question. Okay, terrific. Thanks, but Guy, I, and thank you, sir. I never got an answer for it. Oh, little Davy, you just got roasted by this woman. She says, I have a job that I work. Yeah, little Davy, you don't have a job, do you? Oh, that's right. Your job is to go around and annoy people all day. I forgot my bad. Hey, let's carry on. Okay. I just wanna I just wanted to grab some free candy. Oh, go ahead. Thank you so much. Uh, 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 excuse me. That's I can have no. this isn't complimentary oh, okay. for the public? Oh my gosh. I thought he was looking out for my weight gain. I appreciate you. I almost got attacked over free candy. Trick or treat, ma'am. Trick or treat. God bless you, ma'am. Have a great day, okay? So it's my cheat day. Don't worry. Hi. Can I have some candy? Is that complimentary? Sure. Thank you. I almost got attacked upstairs. How can I help? You? For asking for free candy. I'm just gathering public information. Okay. And uh, checking up on my government employees. Okay. And of course, your duties. You got the good stuff, too. I do. I'm just going to take this and okay. then I'm going to leave the rest for other people that might want some. If somebody would have walked into my office that I didn't know and they started to take candy off my desk, there would have been a real problem. Oh, I can't say what I would have done. You two would never approve of that. But let's just say it wouldn't have been very nice. Okay. What was your name, ma'am? Trudy. Trudy, that's a lovely name. I'm Guy. I'm a great. You, got, you look like you want to ask me a question. John? Yeah. Hi, are you from downstairs? Yes. Okay. Okay. He's a county law enforcement officer. Are you recording officer. me? Yeah, I thought I said that. No. Yeah, I'm you recording. Didn't. Yeah, so, so like I, I said, these are uh, these are appointment only. Yeah, that's well your door your door is wide open. Public area, so we have to escort you back to One, I was invited in, and two, your door is open. She said I could come in and grab candy. That's an invite. You did? Yeah. So he's walking with a security guard. That's a law enforcement officer. No, how did he I'm get sorry. how did you get up here? Yeah, they, right. They let me in the door. I didn't I don't walk the walls. The door opened for me. Who opened the door? If I was committing a crime, I, I would be in. I would be in. I would be in handcuffs. What? What's your name, sir? My name is outside. All right. So the receptionist, meaning Donna, here. This is one of the attorneys in the legal department, and he's not happy to see little Davy at all. Now this is going to go round and round for the next few minutes, and I think it's quite funny. Let's continue, shall we? Yeah. So. You're not allowed on but the floor. But how do you get up to this floor? This is the, not a public the, floor. The elevator. Elevator. These are yeah. public. These are offices where people are working. Okay. And it's not a, a, open for public meetings. It's not a public forum under the. So why do you have why do you have these chairs here? For people, uh, lawyers that I work with, that come up to talk to me in the office from the office. So it's the, not open for the public. Okay, it's open for. I was a, I was allowed access, sir. I don't know who allowed you access, but you were improperly allowed access. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I'm here. Okay. Yes, well, you'll have to leave. I'm sorry. Why would I have to leave? Because this is a, yeah, so not, it's a, not public, a public forum. You it's can't not get a in public there. forum. There are no meetings that are I was open. invited in. You were not invited I in. I was invited in. Right. You Got asked it. to come in and someone let you in. That doesn't mean you were invited I was. In. I was granted, yeah. please, I was please, granted please, access. Can improper. I get your business card, please? No, I don't. So I can hold you accountable? I'm not giving you my business Got card. Please, I, please. I need his name so I can hold him accountable. If I want to redress my government, I have that right. Please leave. Can you give me his name, please? This police officer is not doing his job properly. This attorney has asked Davey to leave more than once, and this officer has not shooed him out of the office. Just kick him in the ass and get him on out already. We have to, we have to leave the floor. Why? We have to go out to the other area. Okay, so I'm going to stay right here. I want to stay in here. I need his name. This is what I was telling you before, where it's not. Yeah. The First Amendment. I was invited in. I was gained access. Yep, I'm here no in the public to, area. I do. I do. I'm here for your name. You I'm here for your That's name. That's not a sufficient God. reason to come God. to this I'm here for your name. My name. You can get it on I can line. gather God. public information please in this public leave. building. Please I need his name so I can file please a complaint. Please leave. You, you, you guys, both of y'all are here to service the public, right? 
I'm the public yeah, and I'm asking for your name. For any services. I am, your name. John Nona, okay? That's okay, my name. I'll you hold you accountable today, okay? You can hold me accountable. I will, you because you're a public you servant, you okay? You All right? You got me, and I yeah, I hear you, I hear you. And you're not here to be served. I, I have a right to address my government. If I have a, if I feel like I can complain with him. Please You should educate yourself on the law. Okay, go back to work. All right. Let's go. Please leave. Go back to God. work. Please God. Leave. Let's go. What happened? Let's go. So finally, the cop grows a set and gets him out of there. But it's not over yet because we know how little Davy operates, don't we? I'm, I'm free God. to move around. Let's go. Yeah, you, you don't have access to the floor. He just told you. They gave so, me access already. Yeah. So you, you can't have to go. just restrict access. We have, we I'm have already to, we in have to here. Go. Yeah, you don't have an appointment here. That's what he just said. That, okay, that's, that's what they fine. do. It's appointment only. That's fine. I'm yeah, not in his office. By, it's by, it's by, yeah, but the floor is by appointment okay. only. All right. This floor is by appointment only to yes. gather public information when they gave me access. Do you understand? They granted me access. Yeah. Means. Please leave. I'm sorry? You got access through improper means. Through improper means? I said got hello. It. She gave me access. Got it. Okay. It's still a public building. Like you just said, you don't have access to this floor. They gave me access. Improper access is what you just said. How is it improper yeah. access? Because they weren't supposed to let you into the door. But they did. Yeah. So we so have I'm, to go. I'm here already. We have to go. You, you deny me access? You, you don't have access to the floor. They gave me access. You don't access. have access to the floor. They gave me access. You, you were here with me. You don't me. have access to the floor. We have to, we have to go. So, yeah. All right. I'll All hold right. You, you guys are going to be held accountable. I'm telling you. Is this cop a rookie or what? Slap the cuffs on him and get him out of the building already. You're saying that I don't have access to a floor that they gave me access to that I'm already in. I'm already in. We have to go. Okay. And I'm conducting business here, right? We have to go. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? I thought he was going to enforce everybody's feelings, not just his. You can't, you can't just restrict access once you've granted me access. You can't just say, oh, I don't like you now. You, you cannot say, I don't like, listen, you cannot say, I don't like you now, so now you got to go. Do you understand? We have to go up the floor. What happens if I don't leave this area? We have, we have to go up the floor. So you're not allowed access to this part of the building unless you have an appointment. I said that. I need an appointment to gather public information? For this, for, in no, this I office, don't, yes. I don't need an appointment to get phone for, numbers. In this office, you do. No, I don't. You don't need an appointment to gather phone numbers. You don't need an appointment for that. I was granted access. She gave me access, right? You were here. She gave me access, right? Now you can see behind the cop here that all the doors are locked and require key card access. And the cop's not going to open any more doors, so little Davey wants a supervisor. Well, three cops show up. One of them is a supervisor, and they escort little Davey, and he takes pictures through the locked doors, and that's the end of it. Yeah, he's a real jack wagon. Let's listen to him complain as he leaves the building. I went 18 minutes. What? Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to keep it moving. No one's got attacked over some candy. We're going to go to this building next. Let's see what's up. She better stay around because they might call her again. Until next time, love you all. Hit that like button on your way out and stay tuned to this video. All right. Peace. I find it rather ironic that a man who's always so angry with everyone would tell us peace. Yeah, look in the mirror, boy, because you won't like what you see. An angry little man. That's what I see. Well, not to worry if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel. Please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, little Davey. Yeah, I think you might find a real job one day. You know, you could if you looked. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come trying to make me. 
you're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? No, no I'm reason. Really, has I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. We're gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the law. Do. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the line. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform. I pay for that car. I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me.